The HFO 690 is the latest generation of fiber optic hydrophones designed for applications such as HIFU, providing both acoustic pressure and temperature measurements simultaneously. This video will walk you through the setup and calibration process. The HFO comes with multiple fiber optic probes, laser safety goggles, a fiber probe cleaner, a fiber cleaver, two fiber stripping instruments, and a DC calibration kit. To set up the HFO, make sure that the key switch on the rear panel is in the on position before turning on the front panel power switch. The system will then start the initialization process and conduct a self-test. While the system is conducting the self-test, clean the fiber optic probe by holding down the connector and wiping the tip across the cleaning tool in a figure eight pattern. After the self-test, the display will prompt the user to make sure that the fiber optic probe is connected to the front panel with the tip submerged in either water or index matching oil for the DC offset calibration. Make sure to let the HFO warm up for 45 minutes before proceeding. The purpose of the DC offset calibration is to account for the reflections at various connection points creating non-ideal optical coupling and is required whenever the fiber optic probe is replaced or disconnected. It can also be done to verify that the DC offset level is stable before proceeding. To prepare the fiber tip for the DC offset calibration, cleave the outside sheath with the 0.16 mm microstrip which can be identified by the orange tape and push the fiber to 45 millimeters. Then repeat the same steps with the 0.06 mm microstrip which can be identified by the purple tape and push it to the bottom of the tip. Gently tap or use an air gun to clear the microstrips of any remaining debris. Clean the fiber with IPA soaked Kim wipes before cleaving the fiber. You can pick between two tracks in the cleaver depending on the fiber tip length and application. A shorter fiber is recommended when used for scanning as it will be more insensitive to movement, while a longer fiber is recommended for continuous wave to avoid reflections from the holder. We recommend to reduce the length to 10 millimeters for better results. Use the smaller track on the cleaver for a longer fiber and the thicker track for a shorter fiber. The wrong track can result in a non-perpendicular cleave. When cleaving, make sure not to dent the fiber tip in any way. Pushing the fiber tip too much into the cleaver and forming a dent will result in a bad cleave and inconclusive results. A bright red light at the fiber tip indicates a poor cleave. If you see this, recleave the fiber and try again. To start the DC offset calibration, carefully insert the cleaved fiber through the center hole of the mount and let the fiber holder slide down so that it sits inside the mount. Then place the mount on top of the open test tube with around 5 millimeters of the fiber tip submerged in oil, making sure that the tip is not touching anything other than the index matching oil. Then proceed to follow the on-screen instructions. The normal range for the offset voltage is 0.1 to 0.5. If the measured offset voltage is within this range, press accept and the HFO will store this value to be used for sensitivity calculations. If the measured offset voltage is higher than 0.5, press cancel and turn off the laser in the main menu. Restrip, clean, and re-cleave the fiber tip before trying again. Always make sure to clean and cleave the fiber tip again between the DC offset calibration and sensitivity calibration. A sensitivity calibration is always needed after a DC offset calibration. To start off, press calibration in the main menu page. Make sure to measure the water temperature with a reference thermometer and enter the value in degrees Celsius when prompted. Press start after verifying that the fiber optic probe is properly connected and that the fiber optic tip is immersed in water. The HFO will then start the calibration. The normal value of the SSS should be greater than 5 millivolts per megapascals. If the SSS is lower than 5, turn off the laser, recleave the fiber tip, and try again. The HFO system is easy to use and operates with a visible wavelength, making the alignment process safe and simple.
After the alignment and sensitivity calibration, just follow the on-screen prompt and user manual to start measuring. Here is an example of how one would set up their oscilloscope along with their HFL controller and scanning tank. For more information, feel free to visit us online at www.ondacorp.com.